I'm going to be showing you guys how to manage your email from the terminal using a terminal email client called Arc. Now, for those of you who've used uh, other terminal email clients like Mutt or NeoMutt, this is very similar to, to those programs, but I would say Arc is actually uh, has a lot more features and it, it's just a lot easier to use and to set up in general. And in my opinion, is probably the best terminal email client out there. So I'm going to show you guys how to set it up and use it. So I'm going to go ahead and open the terminal. And first things first, make sure Arc is actually installed in your system. You can install it using you know your normal package manager in Linux, and yeah, it's pretty pretty self-explanatory. So when you first run it, you'll get this uh, welcome prompt, just saying "Welcome to Arc. Let's configure your account." And it'll give you some basic basic key bindings to navigate. In fact, I actually go ahead and turn on screen key just to make it easy uh, for you guys to see what I'm pressing. And so first we want a name for this account. Um, in this case, I'll just call it example. And a full name for outgoing emails. Um, I'm going to use John Doe. And then my email address. I actually have an email set up right here at vfemail.net. And shout out to VF Email. Um, they're like one of the only email providers out there that don't ask for like a phone number or anything and any other type of information when creating an account. All they need, all they want is just a, your full name and a password. That's it. And so shout out to these guys. They're actually good email providers. So I actually have an account created right here. And this account is John Doe 789 at openmail.cc. So John Doe 789 at openmail.cc. So next, so next we want to configure our email source, so where we pull our emails from. So we have a choice between POP or IMAP. Um, and the thing about ARC is it doesn't support POP because it's kind of an outdated protocol. So we're going to go ahead and set up with IMAP. So in this case, our IMAP server address is imap.bfemail.net. And we want port 993 because we want SSL. So 993. And then we want to set up our password. And I have my password written down right here. And it's a very secure password. It's ASDF1234. Like I said, very secure. And don't worry, I'm going to be uh, deleting this account after this video. So you guys better not get any funny ideas. So next, it'll, um, it'll say the wizard will store your store your passwords and clear text in this file right here. And the thing about ARC is, by default, it, or really just any terminal email client, it'll store your password in clear text by default. Uh, but However, ARC does have a way to encrypt your password and keep it secure. So you can conf configure that later on if you really need that. So let's go next. And next we want to configure our outgoing email. So our address for this is smtp.vfemail.net, and we want port 465. There we go. And then the final setting it'll give us is if we want to copy our sent messages to a folder. And this is in case you want to copy your sent messages to like a sent folder for like further reference, or if you need to save them. Uh, you don't have to have this, but I like having this, so I'm going to copy my sent emails to my sent folder. Then next, and then it'll tell you configuration complete. Um, all your, conf um, your configuration for your accounts is in this file right here. And it'll go ahead and open up a tutorial just to get you familiar with key bindings and stuff like that. Um, like for example, you know, you can use control P and control N to go between tabs and HJ, HJ, K and L to navigate, which I mean, Vim key, Vim key bindings are always great to have. So, I mean, that's why I use this program. But you can change basically all the key bindings in this program if you want. So that's a really nice thing about Arc is that it's very configurable and very extensible. And, you know, the tutorial just gives you, you know, basic key bindings and commands and stuff like that. So, so here I have my inbox. And I just have, you know, three example emails. Um, one is just, you know, congratulations, you registered your account, nothing important. 
And then I actually have two test emails I sent for this video. So I'll go ahead and view this one. And you know, this is a test email, yay. Um, and to actually, to actually reply to an email, um, the key binding for that is capital R R. And that will go ahead and pull up your text editor to create, to uh, compose an email. So I'll say this, so this is a reply. And one thing to note is that ARC by default will actually uh, open up your default text editor and actually to compose emails. So for me, this is Vim. But if you use Nano or Emacs by default, it'll pull up that text editor so you can compose your email from that, which is really nice. So let's go ahead and save that. And before you send, it'll give you a few options. Um, you can remove or delete attachments, edit it, preview it. Um, if I want to edit the email, I can just press E and add more stuff to it. This is more stuff. There we go. If I want to preview it, I can just press V and it'll give me a preview of uh, what the recipient will see. So in this case, it's from you know John Doe to Bryce Vandergrift and the content of it. And I can postpone it, uh, meaning I can put it in my drafts folder and save it for later. Um, or I can just delete it entirely by pressing N. But I'll just go ahead and send this email. And there we go. I went ahead and sent it. And as you can see, in my sent folder, I have a copy of that email. So I went ahead and sent that. And one thing, one uh, great thing about ARC is, I'm gonna open this email, is that it supports um, email encryption and email signing using GPG. So this makes it easy to encrypt your emails or to authenticate emails between people. In this case, this emails, this example email that I sent earlier is signed with my GPG key. So um, next I wanna actually compose an email. So to do that, you press capital C and you can go ahead and say, who do I wanna send it to? I'll send it to um, Bryce at BriceVandegrift.xyz. And the subject, I'll just say, I don't know, simple email. And just say, this is a very simple email. Very cool. And then I'll just, just for the fun of it, I'll add an emoji. So I'll do that. There we go, a little smiley face. And go ahead and close that. See, I had to cut away real quickly. I had to go catch a phone call, but I want to go ahead and add an attachment to this email. So to do that, I can just press A to attach, and I'll give it the path of the uh, document I want to attach. In this case, cat.png. And one great thing about ARC is that it has automatic uh, com uh, command completion. So that's a pretty nice thing to have. So I'm going to go ahead and attach cat.png and press Y to send. And it'll go ahead and send the email. and as you can see, we have we can go to our sent folder and see we sent you know a very simple email. And to actually preview or to view the um, our attachments, we can either press Control J or Control K to cycle between different parts of our email. And as you can see, we get a uh, very interesting image preview. It's very very rudimentary, but it's an image preview nonetheless. So to actually view this image, what we can do is we can actually pipe the image into another program. So I can press the pipe symbol and it'll bring up this little pipe command and I'm gonna pipe it to um, this command called image pipe. And it'll take that data and put it in my image viewer. And so I can view this, this image of a cat sleeping on a, on a train. So uh, that's how, you can, you, you can use this not just for to pipe you know things into image viewers, but also pipe into PDF viewers, web browsers, any command that you can pipe stuff into, you can use this with. So if I want to, um, for example, pipe this right here into Vim, I can do that and then edit this email and do whatever I want with it. And so you can, that's a very powerful tool you can use. Um, and then finally, one last feature I want to go over is uh, really interesting and pretty unique. And if I if you press Control T, what will happen is 
um, it'll pull up a terminal uh, in your uh, in your email uh, email client. And if you go back and forth between, you can, you know, you can press Control Control P. You can, uh, I think it's Control yeah Control P to go back and forth. And you know you can run uh, you can run any sort of command you uh, you need. And so, for example, if I uh, sent you know cat.png and I want to immediately get rid of it, I can just run rm cat.png. Or what I can do is I can press the dollar sign and then run a command from there and say rm cat.png, and I'll go ahead and run that command. So if I actually go back to the terminal, you'll see cat.png is removed. But if you want an interactive terminal, pressing Control T brings you to you know. An interactive, interactive terminal where you can run, you know, any command imaginable. And so that is, oh, and finally, the last command is Q, which will pull up a prompt to quit, which you can do by pressing Enter. So that is actually, so that's um, a lot of the basics of ARC. And it's a really uh, useful, very interesting uh, terminal email client and very extensible. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and pull up my configuration. Um, you can configure so many different options. Um, there's so many different options like highlighting, um, different sizes, uh, uh, whether you can enable mouses or not, um, email template templates, like so many different things are available for this. Um, you can also configure, ooh, I think, you can also configure literally every key binding. Uh, in the program itself, as well as, as well as, I'm pretty sure, yeah, you can uh, configure style sets as well, which are basically just, you know, color schemes for Arc. So this is, you know, this is uh, just an absolute amazing, you know, email, uh, terminal email client, which I think you guys should definitely try out. So yeah, that's Arc, um, and hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the video. So I'll see you guys later.